Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video finally. Um, the other day I was working with my home lab stuff, working in the corner, kind of messing with my server and everything. And it dawned on to me that one really helpful thing to know, especially going into the IT field, is to know how to make an RJ45 Ethernet cable. So in the corner right by my server, there's like this like rat's nest. I call it a rat's nest, but it's like a bundle of cable that has just been chilling there for a while. Um, but I figured this would have been the perfect opportunity to kind of just cut the cable, make it the perfect length that needs to be, and re-terminate the end. But it got me thinking that there is quite a bit of good video out there on YouTube on how to make an RJ45 cable. Um, this is just kind of my point of view on it because a lot of them, they kind of do different things. So for starters, um, to answer your, like a first question, I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know, why don't you just buy a cable that's the proper length? So you could go to like you know walmart or any other electronic store and buy the proper length that you need in rj45 cable so that is one option but the whole purpose of why you terminate your own ends is because well i mean for various reasons let's say that you know theoretically speaking somebody walks up to your router and just cuts the cable you know i mean that's never really going to happen but what if it did um, you're going to want to know how to terminate your own ends. And not only that, but let's say you have a problem like I do. You have a big rat's nest and a big bundle of cable just chilling there and you're tired of looking at it. Well, you can cut the cable to the exact length you need, terminate the end, and you can keep the rest for safekeeping to reuse, repurpose, whatever you need to do. So everything I will use today in the video, I will put links down in the description below just so that way you can see the different tools and so forth that I use. Um, different ends of an RJ45, they happen to look like this. You know, this is what they look like when you buy them from the store, but I'm going to show you how to do your own. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's jump into how to make a cable. Okay. So this is going to be how to actually make the cable. So in front of me, I have pretty much the necessities that you're going to need to make an ethernet cable. Um, for one, this is a cable tester um, by Clean Tools. Um, all these items you see here, I will put in the link down in the description below. But this is a cable tester, it's just to make sure that the cable works. Um, this is a crimp tool. It also has the layout on the crimp tool of how the cable is gonna go. Then these are some side cutters, just to help you with cutting cable if need be. Some pass-through RJ45 connection so these are the heads to the cable um, this is a pack of 50 you can get this or even more um, so this is a cat 6 cable well it says it's a cat 6 but on the inside it's actually kind of designed like a cat 5e um, I may be wrong let me know down in the comments below but um, the packaging says cat 6 doesn't look like cat 6 to me and then some optional items. I do have a Dymo label maker. Um, so this is just optional. This is really the only purpose of this is just to label your cable. So pretty much you won't get confused and you know what's what. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. So to start by making the cable, you're really gonna wanna do about an inch off. Um, I would suggest doing more, especially if it's your first time making a cable. Um, so we're gonna start with the crimp tool. And on the crimp tool, you can see here, there is a cut and there's a strip. So the cut is pretty self-explanatory just to put the cable in there and just, you know, nick it off if you like. So you can just cut it completely off. Um, the strip tool is to put the cable in there. So <clears throat> what you're going to be doing is you're going to be stripping off this black jacket to expose the cables inside. Like I said, you want to do about an inch, maybe two, just to be safe. So you're gonna um, push it down and you're gonna twist the tool and the wire simultaneously, just like this. Then you're gonna let go. And as you can see here, the jacket's already off. Okay, so these four colors, they are blue with a white blue cord. 
a solid orange with a white orange cord and then a solid brown with a white brown cord and then a solid green with a white green cord so what you're going to do is you're actually going to want to split all of these so on the ends you just kind of like pull it apart like that this is what i do oh so once all the ends are pulled apart like that where you have them just kind of split you're going to want to take your jacket that you cut off and you're going to use the jacket and you're going to stick it down one color of the wire leaving the other color on the outside and you just kind of like twist it like all you have to do is just twist the jacket and it will easily undo the cable okay so once you have all the cables separated what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay out the cables like so you're just going to want to kind of like separate them make sure they're all kind of pulled apart that's all you're really doing there you go so once they're all pulled apart like this the next step what you're going to do you see how it's all wavy you're just going to basically pinch it with your two fingers pinch the wire and then pull down the wire to straighten them out So once it's all straightened out, you're gonna get your pass-through connection right here. Um, on the crimp tool, like I was talking about earlier, you can see here that there is a layout of the color coding. You're most likely always gonna be using the B format, which is this top one right here. This is for RJ11, so you're just gonna ignore that. So you're gonna be doing that layout right there. So this side of the layout, you can see one is over here on the right, eight is over here on the left. Um, this is going backwards so this color combination is going to be if you're looking at it from the tab so the tab on the connector if you're if the tab is facing you if the tab is facing you this is the direction of the color coding okay so if the tab is not facing you say if you spin the connector around this way then you're also going to spin around the crimp tool and you can see here there is another B layout and you can see here that this one is running opposite one to eight going this way now so depending on which way you're looking at the connector depends on which way you're also going to be looking at the crimp tool to follow the guidelines but keep in mind not every crimp tool has these guidelines so it's best to memorize the colors um, as they go from left to right just so that way you know which way to put them into the crimp tool so just for starters we're going to go ahead and start this way and i'm going to start with the tab facing me so what I'm going to do is when looking at the color coordinating here. So you can see here that the first color is going to be solid brown and then it's white brown and then solid green. What I like to do, I mean, everybody has a personal preference when it comes to how they put the cabling into the connector head. So what I do is I just take like the solid brown right here and I will feed them in one by one. So I will just push in the brown just like so. And then I will go on to the next color, which is white brown. And I will feed white brown into the second slot. Sometimes it doesn't go in, so you will have to pull it out and just kind of like straighten it out some more. And then try again. So there you go, see? And that's for the second spot. And then you just keep going just like that. Walking the lonely streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been... Alrighty. So now that I slide that last color in there you can see here this is the orientation so you can see i have solid brown white brown solid green white blue blue white green solid orange and white orange so this is the order of the connection so now what you're basically going to do 
is you're gonna grab this end right here that came through the pass through and the head right here. And you're gonna just go ahead and pull the RJ45 down like this. Some of them you probably will need to like tug on a little bit just to get them more straight. But the whole point of what you're gonna do is you're wanting to pull this down until you get to the jacket right here. Once you get to the jacket, it needs to be on the inside of the connector. So let me pull this a little bit there so you can see. There you go. So you can see there that all the cables are in, the jacket is in as well. And so now this is ready to be crimped. So next step, what you're gonna do, um, you can use your side cutters for this or you can just keep using the crimp tool. It's really up to you. Uh, what I like to do is I like to just kind of hold the wires right here and just kind of give it like a little haircut. Like I cut them right here. There you go. Just to cut off all of this so it doesn't get in the way. It makes it easier for the crimp tool. And then you're going to get the crimp tool and right here where it says RJ45, you're going to go ahead and stick it in there with the tab upwards, just like so. So now that that's in, <clears throat> if you see on the other side, you see how the wires are there. Um, it says trim because once you crimp down, all this extra is going to come off. So you just make sure it's all the way in, push down. And I like to do it a couple times just to make sure that it's crimped. Pull it out. And there you go. So you can see there it's been completely trimmed down flat. And it has been cramped so this head will not come off of the wire. And there you go. That's how you successfully make a RJ45 Ethernet cable. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and finish the terminating the other end of this cable. We're going to run it through a cable tester just so I can show you what it looks like when the cable passes and what it would look like if the cable were to fail. Okay, so now I have both ends of my cable terminated just so that way I can show you. So now that I've terminated both ends in order to test the cable to make sure it works, I'm going to grab my Clean Tools cable tester. And this bottom piece right here you can pull off. So this piece right here you're going to plug one end of the ethernet cable into the part for the networking go ahead and plug that in and then you're going to plug in this other end to the top part of the device right there we'll go ahead and power it on and you're going to click on the network button right here at the corner and you can see pass so it shows pass and all of the numbers match up this represents all eight colors of the ethernet cable. So if any of these numbers blink, it means they're either out of order or there is a bad connection, um, as I will show you here. Basically, this just means that there's something wrong with the cable somewhere that you would just either need to replace the head or wind up having to replace the whole cable period. So that's pretty much everything. That's how to make an ethernet cable. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just remember to like, comment, and subscribe.